Aussie athlete. of the Cascade Crest 100. 100 milo runners keep coming in. Sitting on 25 and a half hours now coming in. Apparently there's been about the finish, at least a 50% dropout rate. There was some pretty horrible weather last night. It got very cold in the mountains overnight. In Seattle there were uh, actually, actually winds up to 70 miles an hour and I, and I heard um, 87 miles an hour in one in one spot which was just crazy two people died uh, so yeah some pretty some pretty serious weather through the night almost everyone in the race uh, had had uh, their their wet weather their weatherproofing of their of their gear pretty much all failed everyone had wet clothing wet armor undergarments wet gloves and uh, that combined with very cold temperatures, even uh, in certain parts of the race, as low as I heard 40 degrees Fahrenheit. My my runner only got to pulled out at 60, 61 miles into the race. Um, basically, was vomiting early in the race, just uh, couldn't keep food down, and that made it very challenging to come back from. Uh, it's difficult to. Um, he found it difficult to eat and drink enough. Chris was kind of moving a bit slower once she started running lower on carbs and running lower on muscle glycogen, having to burn more fat for fuel, I guess. So um, she was doing it tough, but but and it's hard to stay warm when you go slower as well. So, but she had a great race, and uh, she was proud of what she did, and and it was very tough conditions out there. <coughs> Ended up stopping where we did because of the concern that of, of hypothermia, basically not being able to move fa fast enough. Um, we just couldn't guarantee that, that she'd get to the next checkpoint safely. So with wet, <coughs> with wet clothing, um, wet shoes, wet gloves, wet wet pants. Um, yeah, it's. Incredibly tough conditions. There was a new course record for the women. Um, I think it was 19 hours 25, which was remarkable. She came in third overall. And there's, there's just some amazing tough runners. My friend Dave uh, fell over and hit his head on a rock, came in, still, still made 24 and a half hours, had to wait two and a half hours. He had to wait two and a half hours for the weather to, to clear up. And then before he headed off again on the, on the second on the second day, um, at s when the sun came up, <coughs> uh, it just the wind and, and and the cold overnight just stopped many people in the tracks. Uh, one piece of winning equipment that people had in this race was th is, is, was the simple poncho. It's uh, that plastic bag, basically raincoat kind of lightweight poncho, because uh, it it. It was one one thing that kept the water out um, and kept people warm. Um, so, yeah, simple piece of equipment, very, <laughs> very inexpensive. Uh, got a lot of people through this race when other people had more expensive equipment that that still let the rain through and and didn't get them to the finish. So, I hope to come back and do this race next year. Um, I ended up only pacing for for basically a half marathon, um, 13, 13, a bit over 13 miles, 13 and a half miles of the race. It was beautiful. I, I saw, I, w I went uh, through a two and a half mile tunnel, which was <laughs> pretty amazing, an old abandoned, uh, old railway tunnel. It's pros and cons of being in a tunnel. Uh, you don't get rained on. Con, there's no, there's one entry and one exit and no exits in between, it's two and a half miles long. Two. 
dead pacers on along the way. <laughs> good, good to get in a race with a sense of humour. Sort of catch up to my runner. Good acoustics in here. Woo! So I went down some. A, a they call the ropes section, which um, some of it was some of that rope section. You, you're just holding ropes to guide you down a very steep trail. So it's sort of switchbacks down from switchbacks, and it's uh, some of it was. I mean, it wasn't really switchbacks. It was just pretty much straight straight down the mountain, and some of it was 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 certainly steeper than 45 degrees. It, it was. <laughs> it was pretty steep. Um, that was a lot of fun going down there in the dark. It's a really, it's a really beautiful place out here in in, in the Cascades in in Washington, um, in the northwest of the U.S. This is, they claim, this is the worst weather this race has had in in the, in the many years it's been running. I think it's been running for more than ten years. I, I don't know how many years. Um, but it's it's been running a long time. This is by far the worst weather that they've had. It's usually it's usually usually quite good weather at this time of the year in, in late August. So this is about as bad as it gets. So I'm looking forward next year to a to a drier year than this and and to get out and experience the rest of the course. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.